Hello my SOC Universe, let's second roundup video and now we stay in the German speaking regions, uh, Germany and Austria. Oh, I was going back and forth all the way, but in the end let's, yeah, let's decide to get some mileage out of this jersey. As we will see, Bayern is within Epsilon of clinching the title, so I think it's fitting to have this with the gold and whatever and wear Bayern. Let's get some mileage out of this jersey, although, you know, I'm not the biggest Bayern fan, but I have to say Bayern looks actually pretty good and pretty undeniable in Germany. And let's start in the Bundesliga. Um, a Friday evening game, I didn't see it, watch Coppa Italia. Uh, but Hoffenheim actually started out brightly, had good chances, and then within two minutes, in the 9th and 11th, Olmo scores two goals and turns the game on its head. I mean, after 11 minutes, that's uh, already a pretty, pretty strong statement. And then Hoffenheim cannot find a way back, although they were definitely not worse. I also thought, when did Leipzig have those red jerseys and why cannot they play in their regular white ones? I understand the blue ones, but that seemed odd and I've never seen those Leipzig jerseys. Which reminds me, I wanted to do a review of all the jerseys that have been issued since I did the jersey reviews and I don't get to it. And I don't see it getting, but I really would like to do that. But that was a weird choice. Next up, uh, and you know, the Saturday games actually should be more seen in a, together, but I will go through them one by one. Wolfsburg, Freiburg. <laughs> that game should have been done and dusted before halftime for Wolfsburg. Uh, Wout Weghorst scoring one uh, a penalty. There was a very weird, 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 weird situation where the, I think Ginzik had scored a goal already. Um, and everyone thought, yeah, uh, this should be now, uh, this goal will be given. No, the goal was taken back, but then a high foot because Wout Weghorst was, was bleeding. It was a penalty giving it. And he steps up, all bloody a mess. Scores, makes it 2-0 in the 26th minute, and then Ginzik actually uh, gets a third goal that is taken off the board. So he had two goals disallowed. At that point, if it is 3-0, I think there's no doubt that Wolfsburg will uh, win, the, win this game. They were totally do dominant. And then uh, from after the of Grifo, Höhler pulls one back. Hmm. And then right after that, one of the craziest goals you'll ever see. Um, you know, a header like this. 46 minutes, it's 2-2 out of nowhere, and then even Freiburg had the chance to win that game, which would have become totally out of the blue. This was definitely a freak result. Freak result also Düsseldorf against Dortmund. Dortmund had a game by Hakim in the second half taken off. Uh, Düsseldorf playing an actually quite interesting church with a different logo. Uh, I have not really researched them, but that looked interesting, I have to say. And then I have to say, Düsseldorf really would have deserved at least a point out of that one uh, because they were largely the better team and they had really good chances. Uh, and I think it was Sobotka who twice hit the uh, woodwork. Absolutely crazy. Uh, now nah, Skripski, not Nato, Skripski, twice hit the word, he, 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 he came off the last 50 minutes. And you think, yeah, Düsseldorf, they really at this point needed that point. Um, or even a win and they probably would have deserved it, but you know, the beast Haaland comes on, has six touches and with the, basically his last touch he scores a header in the 94th minute and Dortmund gets a rather lucky win which secures their Champions League spot as we will see. What can I say about Köln? I was so, ever since I have the Köln jersey, I only wore it in, in, in the preview, I was so looking forward that Köln uh, wins that one and Hertha Berlin from two stand um, dead ball situations scores the two goals and didn't, uh, not Hertha, Union, and probably had a deserved lead. But hey, Köln pulls one back late, had a claim for, for a penalty, but Köln is heavy. I'm afraid that Köln might get into the relegation battle. I overlooked the Hertha Frankfurt game. Frankfurt was the entire time the better team, but uh, Piontek in an undeniable fashion scored it, made it 1 0 uh, just before the halftime. That was already a sign of thing, things to come because it was a really uh, great goal how he uh, really pulls himself through the defense and gets it in. But then just before the halftime um, was the decisive moment of the game. Seemingly, a penalty was given uh, for a foul, I think, of Bastost. Uh, through Boyata, but then again, um, VAR intervenes, 
it is then a red card but a free kick and the red card is the decisive thing because then Hertha was playing with only 10 men and Bastost after a nice header by Andre Silva who had come on uh, scores the equalizer 51st and then 62nd goal of the season. If you haven't seen that goal watch it. Daichi Kamada slaloms through the entire box uh, I think uh, going th past four hair, hair, hair to defenders, then puts the ball to, to the center where Andre Silva back heels it in. Wonderful goal. Goal of the season, 2 1, and from that there was no stopping. Dicker makes it 3 1 in 68, and And Andre Silva adds another one. And I have to say, Andre Silva, I'm so happy he's doing well because uh, I think he was mystery by Milan. Did not have a good time at Sevilla, although he had a bright start. So I'm actually hoping he really performs well. Maybe coming back to Milan and maybe being uh, the, the, the striker they all need. But I also like him at Frankfurt. I really am looking forward to him. Paderborn against Werder. Crazy game, first of all, weather-wise, because he started out in the sunshine and then it went all into the rain. Uh, crazy also because it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, Rajica has uh, uh, misses a penalty, or it's nicely saved, but David Klassen a minute later after assist by Gabriel Sass, was more or less the same action, uh, same attack, attacking move uh, where Paderborn cannot really clear it, makes it 1-0, Osako 2-0 and Klassen 3-0 at the half, Werder finally scoring goals. Um, Eggestein makes it 4-0 and that puts the game away, there are two more goal scores, Sabiri pulls one back and Fulkrog, after coming back uh, for a lengthy in injury, scores a fifth goal and Werder gets a huge win, which might put them right back into contention for promotion. The problem is they play these guys next. And these guys, I have to say, they were for the taking. No Lewandowski, no Müller, but for Bayern, no problem, because Gladbach, A, has a goal disallowed, um, is wasteful with their chances. I'm looking especially at you, Braylen Bolo. And then Jan Sommer gifts uh, Zirksi the 1 0 by yeah, playing it out from the back but uh, leaving the goal empty. Zirksi has just put in the, into the empty net. But Pavado says, okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit more, more, more of a game. And um, with the wrong foot, basically makes a bad clearance that ends into an own goal. And then for the longest of time, it really looks like that this is going to be an even game. It ends 1-1, which would be huge for Gladbach. But nope, Pavard makes a little mistake in the 86th, uh, passes it into Leon Goretzka, who puts it in, in, into the net. The game was kind of deadish at that moment, I have to say, but Bayern gets another win. They get the wins, and now I just, I think, a point? I mean, we will, we, we will see, but I think uh, they are more or less secure for the title. Didn't see much of the Sunday games. Augsburg winning 1-0 at Mainz through a Niederlechner goal in the first minute. And Schalke actually has a good showing against Leverkusen. Leverkusen clearly, you know, they had a midweek game in the cup. Uh, a late equalizer, I think, there. And I think it was even an own goal. Uh, let's quickly, yeah, it was an own goal by Miranda. But from the little I saw, I actually thought that Schalke played well. Four months. So if we look now in the table, I already hinted it. Bayern, more or less clear. There are um, three games to go. They are eight points clear. What they need is one measly point, I think. So if they win one uh, point and the nine, the six, yeah, more or less clear. Yes, goal differential could play, but we can call Bayern clear. Also uh, secure in the Champions League, as is Dortmund now. Leipzig also rather safe, and it's all between Leverkusen and Gladbach, with Gladbach uh, not being the favorites in there. Although I think they have a slightly easier program. Uh, Wolfsburg looks safe in the Europa League spot, and then, yeah, Hoffenheim and Freie, Freie will go for seventh. Um, the midfield is now wide, I think, between Schalke and Union. They all look kind of safe, but I'm looking here at Köln, where I don't like the rest of the schedule. And ah, doesn't they really could get into trouble there? Although it is still uh, a good cushion that they have. Düsseldorf is now only one goal ahead of Bremen, and I think Bremen has to still play Mainz, so Mainz could get in there. Um, Bremen has a shot. 
I would be very happy about that. I just don't want to end, have Bremen end up in a relegation spot because we will see now in the Bundesliga, uh, second Bundesliga, how things were going. Uh, Paderborn, yeah, they have a teeny, teeny chance, but it's more or less done. I mean, uh, three, uh, yeah. Eight points to the re to the relegation battle and three games to go. Doesn't look good. Second Bones League, I haven't seen anything, but uh, Hamburg gets a late win. Arminia, Bielefeld, you know, this is another crazy week where they play. Uh, they played on Friday, they play now on Monday, then they play on Thursday, and I think they play on, sun sun on Sunday again. Absolutely not scare schedule for them. They only play nil nil and um, Nuremberg uses the derby to foot which we'll see has big implication and also Wiesbaden wins in Kiel. That is a huge result for them. And then another huge result is that uh, Karlsruhe wins 2-1 against Stuttgart. Stuttgart would have won that. I would have won a Stuttgart jersey right now. Nope. Uh, and that causes all kind of mayhem. Also note that the three relegated teams, uh, Nuremberg, Hannover and Stuttgart, all lost this weekend. I realized that. And now, Bielefeld still looks good, but Hamburg now leapfrops Stuttgart and Stuttgart is in the relegation spot. And I don't want Stuttgart play against Bremen. I don't actually want Ham Hamburg against Bremen either. I want Bremen to be safe. Although Hamburg-Bremen, that would be a derby for, for the ages there. And Nuremberg now, with that win of Karlsruhe, Nuremberg is on the relegation playoff to the third league. That, ouch, that hurts. That hurts for a uh, great team. Like Nuremberg. Let's finish it up in Austria. I did not see much except for the last game. Rapid gets another, I, you know, you see the upper uh, results there and we'll see the implications, notably Tyrol winning huge at Admira. Uh, but Rapid gets another late win against Wal Wolfsburg. Sturm, I rather would have seen a tie there, but you know, Sturm gets off the schneid. They get their win now, uh, since as they have been rather awful. Uh, at Hartberg, which is Styrian competition, and then Salzburg against Lask. After 12 minutes, Lask again shot, shot themselves in, in, in the foot. First of all, the referee is not giving a clear foul on the center line. The ball goes forward, is deflected into the path of the um, goalie in Schoboslai, where, yeah, the goalie just Schlager miss, cannot hit the ball, and Schoboslai under him puts it into it. 1 0, and then Another one cross in from Schoboslai, um, where again Wiesinger, who had already caused a horrible back pass midweek against Rapid, he deflected the ball for, for the 1 0, and then he again, uh, the ball comes to him. He It's hard to clear, but again, in the path of Taka, who can put it in 2 0. Two so then Salzburg is dominant, but Lusk can get a little bit back in the game. In the second half, they completely dominate Salzburg for another um, good half hour, if not more. And they get the goal through, through Ragus. They have another chance through Klaus. They again hit the woodwork. Yes, it was deflected. Hit the woodwork. There's just no luck. And they probably should have gotten at least an uh, indirect free kick in their own half. Right after he hit him because of a high foot, I would even, if there was contact, maybe uh, you could have even given a penalty there. So, not having the luck, and then Salzburg scores, it makes it 3 1. And we were then, yeah, there could have been another one scored, but I think that that, that would have been too much. So, after four games in this championship round played, Lusk is the better team in three games um, and manages one point. And yesterday they were at least level with Salz, Salzburg. This was a 50-50 game. So after four games where you actually play, the everything is there. Individual errors cost you and you're not lucky because we have six times hit the wood work in every game we hit the woodwork. If one of those goals goes in, you are clear. And so the table now, and it just pains me to see Rapid is now seven points clear. Even with the six points they got to duck it, they would have all overtaken and it's just galling. Because if you look at the table here, uh, at the previous one, a pitch should not be in the discussion there. The only thing is, yes, I think Lask has a good shot of getting the third spot, which guarantees Europa League group spot, whereas the Champions League spot does not guarantee you any group phase. And that might not be. It gets you a shot at the Champions League, but... So, 
no, there might be a silver lining on that, but first you have to get the third place and you play no Sturm, you have to get that win. On the, on the, honestly. On the bottom, uh, the last four keep changing every time. Now it's St. Pölten in last place and Tyrol suddenly is three points clear. Uh, it's a crazy race down there, I have to say. Anyway. Let me know what you thought in the Bundesliga, if you agree with my assessment, if you saw any, any anything else. I'm still hurting on Lask a little bit, but you know, I'll keep it short. I'm going to spare you the details. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe that. I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.